Talia. <laughs> in times past, there lived in Penlin a witch called Kredman. And sometimes, if you listen very quietly, you can hear her witch cackle. <laughs> Unfortunately, a curse had descended before the birth of her third son. And he had grown up to be one of the most ugliest and most stupid in the whole kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is him, I'm afraid. So the witch, Caredwin, set out to make a potion for her third son, that he may have all the knowledge of the world, both in the past, in the present, and everything to come. I think he was on his seventh month at this moment in time. Himself, we on back. He had gained all the knowledge of the universe instead of the ugly sun. But the witch had found out that he had three drops on his finger and he had swallowed. So she set out to chase him. But of course, he had amazing powers of transformation. The audience like to follow me down to the pond edge. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Go on, do it quick. Going fish. Swim, little fishies. Go on, fish. Let go from the bridge. Go on, fish. Go As he ran past, turned into a beautiful sparrow flying in the air. Oh, oh. oh that sparrow. And the witch, because she was very clever, turned into a sparrow hawk. Oh, no. Don't worry, my friends. 
For on that very eve, a young man named Elfin was out fishing near the pond. Weak and small as I am, on the foaming beach of the ocean, in the day of trouble, I shall be of more service to you than three hundred seven. Cheers for Taliesin! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Ooh, sorry. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Can I just say, on, on behalf of, no, on behalf of, half of Graham and his, and his production, Sorry, right, production group, Can I just Sorry. Sorry. Um, what a fantastic weekend this has been, just seeing the energy that's been put into it, and on all these youngsters here are potential carers of Taliesin's, yes, future generations who are fabulous. Um, and there's no, just a couple of other things I'd like to mention. One is the funding that we got for this weekend. This is the first time we've been funded by Wards for All. And uh, Jules and Charles and Phoebe put in a lot of effort to get that funding. So that's, you know, that's been really good. Henry and Andy here as well. That's been, that's been really good. Excellent. Yeah, thanks to them for coming all the way from Black Isle and Edinburgh and making the effort. It's been great. Oh, thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, so there's a, there's a marimba that's looking for a home. Um, it's, a, it's a fabulous piece of kit. Anybody knows any, any contacts? I mean, it's something that we would love to use here, but we don't see it's going to be used on a regular basis, and it does need looked after. It's going to be at Ed's. So anybody you know knows somebody that might want to use it or you need to use it. Kind of needs a group of people who want to play it, really. Yeah, mm. that's right. And then you could hassle Andy to come down and teach you once yeah. in a while, and he can leave you with some homework. Yeah. And then uh, you'll know what you're doing with it a bit more. Okay. And, and I have to say, I'm pretty encouraged because a group, I don't know if you realise, but a group <coughs> formed around the xylophone for that play, and they're called the Taliesin Girls. Here we are, Taliesin Girls. Yeah. <laughs> And I think you let one or two guys in, did you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, why would you Where's do that? Where's the guys? <laughs> no, no, boys. <laughs> no, no guys. Guys. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. Okay, there's, um, thanks ever so much. Everybody coming out. Great to see so many folks here as ever. Just lovely. We've been blessed with the weather again. Just rain staying off. Uh, uh, if, you've, if you've had lunches and teas, there's a donations pot. If you'd like to make a donation, that's always much appreciated. Just to cover cost of, of teas and cakes and all that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, next uh, event in October, which is what we're going to, going to do stone wool diking. We're going to do a repair on the stone wool. Hmm? Knitting needles and crochet. Oh, knitting. A knit, a knitting, I mean, knitting crochet well, yeah. and red. And wool rugs. And wool rugs. And and rugs. Making knitting needles, crochet hooks as well. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. Oh. So, so a good mix there. That's the October, well, you'll get 
emails and yeah. posters out sometime in October. Brilliant. Don't Thank you yet. so much. There's lots of cake. Lots of cake. Yeah. And just remember to take all your belongings. We always seem to get left with something somewhere. So you can just make sure. I know that sounds like a virgin rail train. <laughs> 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 Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>